Hello my dear viewers this is Deepak Jain and today I want to talk about international call centers because many people want to make their career in the international call centers right so if you are one of them so this video is going to be helpful for you if you are looking for a career in this industry so in order to actually get a job in this industry first of all you have to have very good command over the English language and you have to be very good in your communication skills because if you would appear in the interview of international call centers then they would not only check your English, your grammar and your communication skills as well with very good pronunciation and the voice and accent. Okay, actually you have to speak in English phonetically correct. Okay, it doesn't mean that you have to follow any accent. That is the misconception of many people. They think that they have to follow any accent such as American, Australian, British, no accent. Then what do you have to follow is that you have to follow the neutral accent. So you have to neutralize your language because you already have accent in your language that is called as MTI. MTI. It means mother tongue influence. Okay. So your language should not be influenced by your mother tongue. So the touch of Hindi that comes in English affects your language and it hinders your ways to get the job in the international call centers. Let me give you an example. In terms of pronunciation, suppose you have to say technology, but if you say this, technology, so only on this thing, your rejection will be there. It is technology, not technology. Okay? Television. Television. Right? Why am I telling you this? Look, there are Hindi mein do hote hain, ja aur za. Hai na? Aur tisra hota hai, ja. Right? Ye ki sound hota hai, which does not exist in the Hindi language, but it exists in the English language. So you will have to call it like this, television. Television. Right? Achha, jab aap international call centers ke interviews mein, appear hote ho then they would actually give you a list of some words they will ask you to read that but if you mispronounce the words then they will reject you they will reject you on the spot even your interview will not be conducted right so it will be very essential for you to go through the training of voice and accent then it will pave your ways to the international call centers. So only on the basis of communication skills, you can actually get a job in this industry and you will definitely enjoy your job there because it would be five days working. You will get two days off in a week. It means it will be only five days working there. Fine. And if it is the domestic call center, then you would be talking to the people of India. But in the international, you would be talking to the people of the foreign countries. It depends on the process. If it is UK, then you would be talking to the customers of United Kingdom. If it is American, then you would be talking to the people of America. Right? And if it is Australian, then you would be talking to the people of Australia. Like that. And you will get a very good experience and if your performance is good then you can also become the manager there so in that case you don't need to pursue your MBA just make good command over the English language and after that join any company but perform good there then on the basis of your performance you will be promoted as the manager in that company so, even if you are not MBA, on the basis of your performance, 
you will be promoted there. So in MBA, you don't have to spend your lakhs of rupees and two years of time, right? When you pursue your MBA, then you have to go to college, right? So without MBA, you can become the manager. That is the misconception of many people. When they think that in order to become the manager, they will have to be MBA. They will have to pursue MBA. It is not, it is not the truth because I have seen it. I have seen people getting promoted as the manager without MBA, right? So that is all I wanted to share with you. Although I have many things to share with you, but today I don't want to make this video so lengthy. So that was it. Thank you very much for your time and have a wonderful day ahead. Take care and bye now.